Okay, we're question 17. Okay, it's important to note that this word inverse here, inversely proportional to x squared, and that's different to the previous question. Okay, so in the previous question, as one thing grew, so the other thing grew as well. Okay, but in this case, when they're inversely proportional, when, for instance, x squared grows, y will actually fall, right? So in other words, when x squared increases, y will actually decrease and vice versa okay so that's the inversely proportional and so when you ever you see this you have to use sim you use that fish symbol again right to show the, the this proportionality idea but when you see inverse you always got to write it as one over x squared okay you do like the reciprocal of it right and it's important you do that and then again just like before you bring in the equals and you bring in this constant k right so be k times one over x squared okay um, so you can write as k times 1 over x squared or k over x squared if you want. You can you can do it like that. And then they give you information here. They say, okay, well, y is 3, x is 2. So let's work that out. y is 3, um, x is 2. So put x is 2 in there. So it'll be 2 squared, which is 4. Okay. So just chuck the numbers in there. And I've squared it. Squared x to get 4. Take then the 4 up to get k. So k is equal to 12. All right, and then it's so much room here, isn't it? So then I'll write my answer then. You've got to write your final answer. K then is 12 over x squared, okay? And then we're going to use this answer then to part A to get part B out, okay? Now, um, again, this was non-calculator, I think it was. That's right. So when x is 10, we've got to work out y, so we chuck it in there. So y would equal um, 12 over x is 10, Okay, so it will be 10 squared, okay, so it'll be 12 over 100, okay, and that's what it comes out to be, doesn't it? So that would be 0 0.12, okay, um, and you could see there, look, as x gets bigger, y gets smaller, doesn't it? Because when x is 2, y is 3, when x is 10, y gets, you know, x has got bigger, isn't it? So y's got smaller. Okay, so then y is 12 then, let's chuck it in here. So y is 12, so back to this one, so 12 equals 12 over x squared. Um, take the x squared up. Okay, so then x squared will equal 12 divided by 12, which is equal to 1. So then that means x is equal to 1, isn't it? If x squared is 1, square root it, so you get 1 there. Okay, so again, then x has got really small, y's got big, right? It's that inverse idea.